Section 107 of the Copyright Act allows freedom of expression, permitting the unlicensed use of copyright-protected works if such expression is for criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, or research. All forms of media used here have been originally captured or have been edited to reflect unique publication as to respect the original publisher, which Section 107 of the Copyright Act allows. What does Aretha Franklin, Leonardo da Vinci, Joan of Arc, and Babe Ruth have to do with January 3rd? Well, you're about to find out as we discover what's to be found of this day in years past. On this day in 2019, the Chinese Chang E-4 spacecraft touched down on the far side of the moon, becoming the first craft to ever do so. And on the very same day, a team of archaeologists in the Mexico state of Puebla announced its discovery of a pre-Aztec temple to God Totec, which could be as old as 1150 A.D. On this day in 1999, NASA launched the Mars Polar Lander. Its objective was to land near Mars' south polar cap to dig for water ice. The trip took exactly 11 months to reach Mars, on which day the mission failed when communication was lost during its Martian landing attempt on December 3rd. Icon Aretha Franklin became the first female artist to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on this day in 1987. On January 3rd, 1959, Dwight D. Eisenhower signed the official proclamation admitting Alaska as the 49th U.S. state, a goal President Eisenhower started working on very early in his administration. Nearly six years passed from the time Eisenhower became president and Alaska became a state. On January 3rd in New York City, the first missing persons TV broadcast happened in 1943. Martial law was declared in Honduras on this day in 1932, an effort made to stop an ongoing revolt by banana workers who were fired from United Fruit, now Chiquita Banana. Thomas E. Kirby appeared on the Alabama Centennial Half Dollar on this day in 1922, making him the first living person identified on a U.S. coin. Harry Frazee, owner of the Boston Red Sox, announced an agreement on this day in 1920 to sell George Herman Ruth Jr., better known as the baseball icon Babe Ruth, to the New York Yankees for $475,000. The deal paid $125,000 in cash and $350,000 in the form of a loan. James Clark Ross measured a water depth of 14,450 feet in the South Atlantic on this day in 1840 when he performed the first deep sea sounding. Water sounding is a way of measuring the depth of a body of water for use in making maps of sea floors. Leonardo da Vinci attempted flight on this day in 1496 testing his own flying machine invention which loosely resembled a helicopter. It took four men to power the rotor that would lift the machine. However, the craft never took flight as the body and rotor both moved in the opposite direction. A free-spinning rotor would have shown da Vinci results closer to what he was looking for. Joan of Arc led the French army in battle and victory in 1429, disrupting English attempts to win the Hundred Years' War. She was eventually captured and on January 3rd, 1431, was transferred into the custody of Bishop Pierre Cushon for a price of 10,000 francs. She was soon brought to trial, which began 10 days later. France did eventually win the Hundred Years' War in 1453. Responsible for many trendsetters is this day, January 3rd, the first far side of the moon landing, first female artist inducted into the Rock Hall of Fame, the first missing persons telecast, first living person identified on a U.S. coin, and the first water sounding. This has been your look at January 3rd, day three of countless years gone by.